Okay. What about companies that want to provide resources for employees that are considering leaving? Have you seen any company do this? Yeah. Like, so, hey, yeah, leave, I think, uh, yeah. So there are companies, I don't know if, um, I mean, I know there's companies, um, that I've had, I was just talking to one yesterday that was trying to figure this out, which was, or they offer voluntary opt out packages. Um, so instead of in, in the world where we live in today, where workforce, um, and headcount planning is pretty restricted and, you know, the world of layoffs, you know, that we've been living in for the last year, especially in tech, um, you know, companies that know individuals that are not necessarily uh, performing, uh, they're offering voluntarily, voluntary, sorry, companies are offering voluntary uh, opt-out packages, meaning you can leave and here's your package, right? So that's something that's hard to quantify because, you may have people that you don't want to leave, leave, but they offer that. Um, I feel like it was maybe five or seven years ago. I don't know if it's still a practice. Was it Netflix or Zappos that basically always had this, like, if you want to quit, we will give you $5,000 to quit. Um, because they just did not want people that were not engaged and hung on um, to an organization. I think Netflix did that. Netflix, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm, I don't know if they still yeah, do I it. Think but, Netflix did. And I love that because it was like, yeah, like, you don't want to be here. We respect that. And let's give you a little parting gift so you can take some breather or it's an incentive at the end of the day. Um, so, yeah, I've seen yeah. those kind of, I guess, in the world of layoffs, it's more like, do you want to opt out? Then take a package and go, um, which is a different variation of Netflix way back in the day when things were good, um, you yeah. know, because, yeah. This is so awful. I ha I probably should not disclose this, but I'm going to. So here we go. I had so many friends at big tech companies like Facebook, Google, who every time they would do a layoff, they'd be like, God, I hope I'm, I hope, I hope I'm included. I hope I'm included. And I would be like, if you want to be laid off, why wouldn't you just leave? And they're like, oh, well, I want the layoff package. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. I'll leave. And I'm like, but yeah. if you're already thinking to yourself, God, I hope I'm being laid off. Like, do you not think maybe you should probably go work somewhere else, maybe. I mean, I know the yeah. job market's hard right now, and so I'm, I'm not going to say that so flippantly. Like, yeah. I know the job market's hard. I have a, a ton of empathy for people in the market right now because it's rough. Yeah, but. the tech market is, I think the flip side is the macroeconomic condition, right? When there's not a lot of options, you know yeah. that the package, especially at these big fan companies, is going to be very, very healthy, which gives you a good runway to just figure stuff out or take your time to find something else, um, you know? can't blame them right like why J just wait i mean now if you're a you know a researcher at open ai or at google and you're going to some ai company like yeah they don't even need to think twice because they can get you know multi-million dollar packages right off the bat if they're not happy so it, it, it always is uh in relation to what's going on in the market but i think um optional opt-in voluntarily res res you know leaving packages um, are a way that companies can incentivize the the trick there is you you will probably you will have people that you don't want leave opt for those packages mm -hmm. and then what do you do right i constantly like talk to people about that like what should we do because what if we have and my philosophy is like those people were probably going to leave anyways in the next three months 100%. right so you were, just because you go. didn't give them a package doesn't mean it does mean they're not leaving today, but they will leave as soon as they find something that they like. And in that interim, one could Absolutely. argue like they're, you know, I, mean, I don't want to say checked out, but they're not as motivated and engaged, which is why they're thinking of leaving in the first place. So, yeah. you know, it's that's, I guess, the modern age of the Netflix giving 5K is give a give a package to opt out. You reduce your headcount, you reduce your operating cost, which is what everyone's facing a lot of pressure on anyways. And to be honest, with tools yeah. like AI that are rapidly evolving every single day, we can do more with less, right? So you will need less, you will need different size teams now. So I think organizations might shrink over time because of the fact that you can do more with less, but I think there will be a lot more organization popping up, yeah. right? Because you can have a 10 person organization doing what a 200 person organization needed to do like, you know, five, eight years ago without all the tools and technology.